feels good to go back to work. We don't get to work much anymore. You know, our seasons are short, and uh, we have to do other work, but we'd rather be oyster. The reefs actually were closed in 1962. Although bootlegging and uh, pirating had occurred for, you know, throughout the decade into the 70s. And so, uh, yeah, it's been more than 50 years since they've opened the waters for harvest. Well, it's kind of spotty. You gotta, you gotta fill around, move around a little bit, but you'll you know, get them located. Good looking oysters. A lot of good half shell oysters in them, good marketable stuff. You're gonna look good on, on the half shell. Good opening oysters. They tell you they got salt, and they got a lot of meat in them. They're real salty. Good, good taste in oysters. The reason we're able to open really has to do with water quality. Uh, oysters have grown here for hundreds of years and, uh, and that has never stopped. Uh, oysters have been here, we've relayed out of here before, uh, but for the first time in you know 50 years, we've been able to prove that water quality is such uh, that they should be and allowed to be consumed raw. And that really is, in the 60s and 70s, uh, all of you know the Gulf and, and all shellfish growing areas went through a, a stricter regulations that were tightening from FDA and the state. Uh, and it was just recently that we were finally to, to, to get back to that benchmark of water quality that allowed us to open. The past good giant orchards looked good, there just wasn't too many of them. Uh, we're doing a lot better right here. Uh, it's very positive. It, it's, it's great news for the industry, and it's great news really to the community to say that water quality over time has improved here.